The so-called Elk test very nearly did for the original Mercedes A-Class way back when. But since then, cars have been designed not to fall over under any circumstances when subjected to a high-speed lane change. But on snow, even with a top quality set of winter tyres fitted, falling over is not the main issue during a 100 kmh lane change. Sliding out of control, on the other hand, very much is an issue, especially if you're unhinged enough to try it in a rear drive BMW 3 Series with and then without the ESP engaged, as we are about to find out. I'm going to do a big lane change now. Whoa, gosh. Even with ESP, that's a that's quite a hairy thing to do, actually. I'm kind of replicating the scenario as to, as to, you know, all the traffic just comes to a stop in front of you and you think, whoa, I need to change direction really fast and you haven't got time to hit the brakes or anything like that, so you just have a kind of panic manoeuvre. Well, even with ESP, just for about half a second there, I thought I was going into that snowbank over there or possibly that one over there, or possibly both of them. So you can quite clearly see how hard and how well the electronics are working to keep the 3 Series under control, because, well, this is what happens when you switch the electronics off. And now I'm stupid enough to try this without ESP. God, you can, hear the, you can actually hear the nerves in my throat. I'm going to go right down the middle of the road to do this because I want maximum space left and right. So now this is no ESP. That was really close to over there. It's just completely different if you've got the ESP on and the ESP off. It's terrifying with it off because what happens is you apply the steering lock, you start to slide, and unlike in the dry, you've got loads of grip and so you can kind of sense the inertia of the car. Wherever you steer the car to first, first time out is basically the direction in which it starts. <laughs> it keeps wanting to travel. And there's just nothing you can do to hold it back. This is, what, one and a half, one and three quarter tons worth of car just heading straight towards a snowbank. Fortunately, it came back just at the last minute, but that's a fluke. My goodness me, if you ever thought you were being a bit of a hero turning the ESP off in the snow, don't even think about it anywhere, but it's definitely not on a motorway. Wow. I very, very nearly pranged this car then. And then I would have needed to do a little bit more than visit E-Tires to go and get a brand new set of excellently priced tires for it. I would have needed an entire new car. <laughs> so cheers for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vid. Keep your ESP switched on in the snow because it's probably more talented than you are. And if you like this vid, please give us a big thumbs up and maybe even hit subscribe if you want to see more vids like this in future. Stay safe and see you next time.